Hey guys, as requested, I'm going to review of what I eat in a day video by Nick Bear, the hybrid athlete diet. Good morning and welcome to the video. Right now it is 5.33 a.m. I'm getting ready for a morning run. We are in Austin, Texas this week. So Jordan and I are in town knocking out some work. Uh, and because we're in downtown Austin right now, of course, I'm going to run Lady Bird Lake Trail this morning. I have 11 miles to knock out. Then we have a full day of work and meetings and, and some projects that I want to show you we're currently working on. And then we're going to hit a strength training session at BPN HQ tonight. And then today we'll be... From what I understand, it's called the hybrid athlete diet because he runs and also works out in the gym he combines a lot of torture methods because he obviously hates himself like everybody who exercises he also has crazy wrinkles especially here he looks very old uh, he's only 33 years old but looks like he's in his 40s and it's not only that he looks old he looks very sick in general I wish that he would remove the cap to see more of his face. A full day of eating video. So this morning when I woke up, I had a cup of coffee just to get the bowels moving, which was... Six you get the bowels moving with the seed soup? Uh, how? Because it's so toxic that you get diarrhea from it? <laughs> your body does try to get it out of your system as quickly as possible. If that's what you mean, then yes, uh, that could work. Successful. And then in this shaker bottle right here, I have... 40 grams of carbohydrates and 700 milligrams of sodium. Like you guys know, I consume two scoops of G1M Sport before every run. And I'm also going to have one Go Gel, which is the newest endurance product we are launching and adding to the BPN line. This is 24 grams of carbs total apple cinnamon flavor. So before this 11 mile run, I will have 64 grams of carbohydrates total and about 800 milligrams of sodium. It's already clear that he's over consuming carbohydrates like all runners. That's what spikes insulin and ages the body. That's what growth hormones do. <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> because he's running for no reason. What is the actual point of this? About seven miles into my run right now. This is one of, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, man-made buildings. Wow, that's uh, very cool. That's beautiful. What is beautiful about it exactly? Just say what actually. Describe it in your words. One of my favorite places to run. And what's interesting is that actually on this footbridge that I'm on right now, this is where I found it going more. This is the spot where Yes, and the nature, there are no foot bridges, there's no pavement. You would have nowhere to run. You can't run through a forest. You're going to cut yourself every second. These runners don't realize that there's literally no spot where they could actually run in nature. Besides, very few places where you would find sand, but you gotta realize that tons of the beaches that we have today are all man-made also. They ship in the sand and then they create these beaches. When I first started running, and I was in an early marathon prep. I had 18 miles to run that day, and I almost stopped at mile 10. Ended up going one additional mile, 19 miles on that run. That's the day right here where I found a goal. There were also other people running past them. I've been to Austin before. It's an insanely brainwashed city. One more. Run is complete. 11 miles in one hour, 27 minutes, 11 seconds at a 7.55 minute per mile pace. Now today my goal is to get in a lot of carbs. I want to completely top off muscle glycogen because we have a big workout tomorrow. We're back in the kitchen, strong reds, strong greens. I'm gonna mix this up while I start making my breakfast. Ooh, look at that powder. Tastes good. Greens and reds every day, look at that powder. That looks cool. Let's mix this up. And then I have my soft gels and capsules. So this is one serving of Strong Omega, which is our fish oil supplement, one serving, which is four capsules of our Strong Multivitamin, and then one capsule of Strong Joints. All in there. I don't know what's inside of them, so I can't comment on it, but multivitamins are full of synthetic ingredients, as in chemicals that the body can't actually use. We're gonna toast right now, so I have some sweet powder, sour dough, just put them so up. It's gonna be a little, nice and dirty, full 
Okay, breakfast is served. As I was running through the downtown streets of Austin, I can smell the Austin Knights making their morning coffee and bacon. It smelled delicious, but we have no bacon this morning. I have. Bacon would have been healthier than any of this. Coffee is insanely unhealthy, as you hopefully understand. Of course, people who exercise need it, seeing as they have no energy to do something that's so unnatural. Bread only has uh, anti-nutrients, fiber, and sugar. Nothing. Basically the unhealthiest thing you could possibly eat. Really stupid, but again, he needs more sugar. At least he's eating the eggs. Actual cholesterol, saturated animal fat, vitamins which you can't get from plants. The only good thing so far. One cup of egg whites, two whole eggs, some salt and pepper, one piece of sourdough, and then I have a banana and a carton, six ounces of raspberries. Bananas and raspberries, raspberries have a lot of pesticides by the way, only have uh, some electrolytes but really just uh, fiber and sugar. Again, that's mostly what he's consuming. The eggs are really the only thing saving him from uh, dying on the spot. I predicted he's going to die before the age of 40. He's already biologically in his 40s. A lot of people don't understand that when you look 40, you are 40, literally. That's not me overreacting or anything, that's actually literally biology. Right here we just have some pre-cooked chicken breast. I'm just gonna use some kitchen scissors to cut up. At least he eats some meat, but chicken breast doesn't have any fat. It only has some protein which you can get out of it, of course less, seeing as it has been frozen and now he's cooking it. The more you cook your meat, the less protein you will get out of it, seeing as heat destroys protein and every other chemical, all vitamins, everything. Minerals stay more or less intact, but really what you want is the chicken fat. I have the eight ounces of chicken breast in there, and then I have one of these packs of jasmine rice. Packaging says that it's not- Rice again only has sugar, fiber, and arsenic, of course. <laughs> 96 grams of carbs in the whole package. And of course, the Primal Kitchen's buffalo sauce. Can't go wrong. Wait, did it say vegan protein? Why? Just why? On to the next meal of the day. This is my pre-strength training meal. So I have a bowl of sludge with one banana. A bowl of sludge. Nice. At last somebody calls it for what it is. <laughs> and here, this sludge is one scoop of our chocolate plant-based vegan protein, and then one scoop of our chocolate whey. Wow, this made the video a lot better. Yeah, man, it's powders with water and whatnot. It's sludge, exactly. You're eating slave sludge, you loser. Protein, <laughs> added a little bit of water to uh, turn it into sludge. a pudding, cake batter-like consistency. Just tore that banana apart. Now what I'm gonna do is take some of this honey, and I'm gonna put some honey, so we want some more carbs. Now we got our rice cakes. Probably gonna eat like five or six of these rice cakes. And here's how you do it. You take your sludge mixture and you put it on top of your rice cake. So we have a chocolate. Obviously he's really focusing on over consuming carbohydrates. As I said, he really wants to get a lot of sugar into his body and glycogen into his muscles. I'm not even necessarily saying anything against that for what he's doing except that what he's doing overall is so insanely unhealthy, which is why you shouldn't be doing it. But uh, of course, it will be better for him in this specific case. Banana, sweetened with honey, rice cake. It's good. I really can't uh, stand um, sound and texture or anything about the rice cakes. It really makes me gag. Uh, it's really horrible, like the feeling in my mouth when I see it, hear it. So we are deep in marathon prep right now. And one of the questions that we've been seeing come across a lot is how I'm approaching and balancing strength training. Okay, if this guy is not on uh, some kind of drugs, then uh, call me crazy. <laughs> with an increased volume of running miles. He looks completely abnormal. Man, so he runs 11 miles a day or who knows what? Then he goes to the gym, uses drugs on top of that. That's why he looks so insanely old and sick. As I said before, 
Yes, he looks like he's in his 40s, not 33, obviously. Nobody on Earth would think that he's 33. They would think that he's a, a guy in his 40s on chemotherapy, if anything. Oh, Jesus, look at those freaking dark eye circles, the under eye bags. That incredibly many wrinkles. I think that he's trying to hide them under the cap, but you could still see before. It's full of wrinkles everywhere. The skin is completely destroyed. And that's because he does so much. He's stressing his body every day, even possibly. He's somebody who takes exercise to the absolute extreme. If you exercise a little bit, you're probably not going to notice anything much. But uh, this guy is an example of how unhealthy exercise actually is. You know, tomorrow morning, I have a big tempo workout. And if I go into that workout with a sore upper body, it will restrict my range of, of motion in my movement and just the way my body moves for that. He mentioned a sore upper body, which reminds me that back when I used to work out and when I ate a typical diet, I also used to get sore muscles, but when I started eating raw meat, I never got any sore muscles anymore. After any workout, if you do want to work out for whatever reason, I really recommend eating as naturally as possible. If you eat uh, liver especially, you're not going to get sore muscles, but uh, when you eat garbage, you can't uh, repair your body and you're not gonna repair it by eating sludge with vegan protein powders. That's a workout. Good push sesh. Let's get some food. What was the point of any of this? <laughs> you just aged and stressed your body for what? What was the purpose? Dinner at Preston's. What do we got? All right, so we got broccoli. We have white jasmine rice. We broccoli, which is one of the most toxic man-made vegetables ever created. And uh, rice, which only has fiber and sugar again. We have black beans and then black beans, which are insanely toxic, which is why you will fart like crazy after eating them. The fiber is indigestible, obviously, which also adds to the gas. And then you have some indigestible protein. The biological value of uh, beans is very low. Look it up. Yeah, horrible. For our proteins, we have thin on the bone pork chops and chicken thighs. Love me some pork chops. So lots of pro All right, pork chops. Uh, that's the only good part. Protein in this meal. The grill is full right now. So dinner tonight is at my baby brother's house. Preston and Val are cooking us rice, beans, we got some chicken. I don't get it. Why do you eat the rice and beans? It's such absolute slave food. If you want sugar, carbohydrates, there's so many better options. And some pork on the Traeger right now. It's gonna be delicious. So here's what my plate is. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious because of the pork. The beans and the rice taste absolutely horrible. Even you would have to admit that. It's looking like we got broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli, absolutely disgusting. You want to throw up. The only good thing is the meat there. Broccoli, rice and beans, pork chop, love me a pork chop, and some chicken thighs right there. Beautiful looking dinner from Preston. It's not a beautiful looking dinner overall, seeing as your senses create appetite when you see red food, in this case the meat, the broccoli actually suppresses your appetite, and you can call it beautiful seeing as when it comes to food, when we look at the plate, we don't see the green part as something beautiful. It doesn't uh, provoke appetite. We don't crave it. We don't want it. The rice also, it's just white seeds. The beans are dark seeds. That's not appetizing to our human senses. And bow. Hmm. So the last thing I'm gonna have tonight before going to bed is some of this purely Elizabeth pumpkin cinnamon. Pumpkin cinnamon, I've never heard of this. Uh, cinnamon is very toxic uh, to the human body and really any animal's body. Pumpkin, uh, pumpkin seeds or what? No, I don't get it. Pumpkin seeds are uh, very bad for you. Again, it's just seeds which have lots of anti-nutrients which bind to the minerals. So that means that you're not getting any magnesium, zinc, whatever may be in there. There's some carbs and also harmful seed oils. In granola. Personally, my favorite is the... It's granola, 
So it's probably pumpkin seeds, granola, and uh, cinnamon, and some other garbage. It's just seeds, which are for slaves. That's the bottom line here. You gotta understand that when you eat seeds, you're a dumb slave who fell for their lies. White chocolate chip, but I couldn't find it at Whole Foods tonight. So we're gonna bowl this with some almond milk. It is. Almond milk also, and then the vegan protein. What is his obsession with these plant so-called foods? It's not actually food. The only food that he actually ate was um, the eggs and the meat, the chicken and the pork. That's it. He only had three real foods in this day, and those were also cooked, which you probably should cook, seeing as uh, the chicken and the pork nowadays is such horrible quality, you're gonna get food poisoning, if you would eat that raw. Of course, you should only eat very healthy animals raw. Just absolutely. Delicious. Tomorrow morning is a big workout. I just looked at Jeff's notes. Look at this guy, man. He's one of the sickest people I've seen in my life, especially at his age. Wow, that's what happens when you run and you go to the gym and probably take drugs on top of that. And inputted the workout into my Garmin app and synced it to my watch so that it could walk me through the workout tomorrow. It's about 14 miles of volume. Two mile warm up, six miles at a 615 minute per mile pace, 800 meter jog, and then three times the following. One mile at 605 minute per mile pace with a two minute jog in between and then a two mile cool down. So that's tomorrow's workout, putting all these carbs to use. What is the purpose of doing any of that? Just give me one reason why you're doing it. It makes you look a lot older, it shortens your lifespan, it stresses your body. So for sure, it's not for health. I don't even believe that he believes <laughs> that it's for health. Look at this guy. One of the sickest people on earth. Even people on chemotherapy don't look as bad as him. And completely dead, basically, already. Why is he actually doing that? Uh, does he want to prove something? Uh, I assume that it's because he has a business. He creates his merchandise, probably sells his protein powders or who knows what. And that's what he lives from. Okay, understandable. You could, of course, also do something else in your life. But it keeps him going. That's what creates this drive to create the videos and to show to everybody, yes, I do sports, I exercise, I torture myself, I hate myself. And uh, you can buy my merchandise, you can be like me, you can do the same. You can go and run for absolutely no reason like a slave to die in your 40s and to look already like you're in your 40s or to lift man-made metal in a man-made building for no reason. <laughs> oh my God. We're filming that one. That will be the next episode of our marathon prep series that will be uploaded on YouTube. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for creating this video. You proved that when you combine running with going to the gym, that you will look as sick as uh, nobody else. People who run don't look as sick as you. People who only go to the gym don't look as sick as you. But when you combine it, you obviously age your body like nothing else. Nobody else ages this badly. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, most people are not that stupid and brainwashed that they do both. They usually get brainwashed to do one or the other. Thank you, really. Thanks for watching also. <laughs>